Okay, so I thought we'd have a look at brass inserts. And these are these little brass things here. And it gives a nice fixing for the machine bolt to screw into so that it doesn't strip the thread over time so easily as if you would just to screw a screw into plastic. So this is really good, especially for prototyping where you think you're going to take things apart backwards and forwards repeatedly. So again, you can see them draw on the picture here. And I've actually set four of them in already and set up the base just as I'd like, but I thought I'd show you how I, I, I went about it. So the first thing is to make the little brass inset stand and you need somewhere for this brass inset to fit into. So as you can see here it's just sticking up and what I've done is I didn't actually have any round tubing which was large enough to accommodate this brass insert. So what I had to do was basically improvise and take some of the square tubing I had and pack it out with some little finer rods. So really just improvise and see what you can do. But the general idea is to try and get the brass insert to snugly fit into whatever boss that you're making. So what I've done is basically put the brass insert on the end of the soldering iron and get Given that this is just made out of styrene, it'll melt. And it's best to do this on the table, but I'm just showing you as it's easier at this angle. And so after a while, the brass insert will get nice and hot. And gradually push its way in, as you can see now. So again, do be careful with this. You can use any sort of soldering iron, or indeed some processes may use an ultrasonic horn but for this prototyping level that's absolutely fine now again it's a good idea to have the screw handy because what you can do while it's still hot and it will stay hot for quite some time is you can just check that it's nice and straight and also the bolt as it probably will be cold will also take any of the excess heat out of it so what we've got now is basically that little component ready to go in there so the next bit is to make the inset for the head. So you want it to recess below the surface. You can have it protruding if you like, but I think it will generally be nicer for this, just to get an idea of how to do that. So what I've done is taken a little sort of demonstration section here of the top box, and I've cut out two little pieces of plastic and glued them together, and then drilled a hole through the top of the box and through those pieces of plastic that's big enough, as you saw, to pass the head through. So the next bit is obviously to make sure that the screw sits at the bottom of it, and so we'll want to just glue a smaller piece into the bottom. And again, I'm doing this quite quickly, so you can take a little bit more time when you do it. But it's quite handy to maybe use a scalpel for something like this, because you can pick it up and position it just right. So what that'll mean now is that we take apart our little assembly, put the bolt through, and screw that into place. You might need the screwdriver just to tighten it off, but that'll do for now. And then, so if you imagine that base, what I did was put glue on all four of the, the base here. And it's a good idea to do it the base way round. Because, quite simply, you don't want it trickling into the thread of the glue. So it's better to do it this way round. So apply reasonably liberal amount of glue on there. And then you'll find that when you flip it over and stick it like that, you've essentially got the full assembly in there. So that'll mean that when you come to unscrew your lid, like so, the post will be left in place, like that. And so what that means is that essentially you've got a really strong mount and you're able to take apart this as many times as you like with very little wear. So that's press inserts.